<clears throat> so the last video that we posted was our electric jerk uh, chicken patty video with mm -hmm. chicken, so there's no chicken in it. Anyways, um, I posted that trailer on Instagram and got a great question from Tandy, which was, what is the electric diet? So that inspired us to make this video so we can give more information on the diet and how it affects us and why we're doing it. So we're gonna pass to the camera to collect any items you would like to discard. So the <laughs> the electric the electric diet is food that is based off of the pH scale. On one end you have acid, on the other end you have alkaline. In the middle is where it's neutral, which is where your blood lies at around 7.3 to 7.5. That's where your blood is at. Now, a lot of foods that people are eating now are acidic, and they are acidic acidic because they are not natural. They are created in labs, which would be a hybrid food, GMO. So unnatural foods are more likely to be lower on the pH scale, like Donovan said earlier, making it more acidic. And like he said, starches is a big part of that. So starches can be found in like rice, in breads, potatoes. So those are places that you find um, starches in. Now, the difference between those types of foods and electric foods is that since it doesn't have, um, since it's not crossbred and since it doesn't have the starches in it, the modified, is, since it's not modified with starches, that means that it's going to be higher on the pH scale, therefore making it electric or alkaline. All right, so we decided to start the electric diet because a lot of foods are acidic. And because the foods are acidic, they cause mucus in your body. And mucus is one of the leading causes, if not the only cause for disease. Uh, if you look into bronchitis, if you look into pretty much any disease that ends in itis, it's going to be in relation to mucus because itis is the suffix which means inflammation. And the more acidic food you eat, the more inflammation you're going to have in your body and the more mucus you're going to have in your body. So when you're eating foods and you start feeling mucus come up in your throat, that's because your body is reacting to food that pretty much is not natural. So your body is fighting against the food that you have inside you. Inflammation is the way your body tries to fight anything that enters it that it does not want inside. So that's why you have these situations where you will be inflamed, whether it be in your stomach, whether it be in your arm, hand, wherever else the mucus may go. Yeah, so Donovan just went over how foods, how acidic foods affect your body. So that's the itis, you know, pertaining to the inflammation and how acidic everything is. And I'm going to explain how electric foods affect your body. So I don't know if you guys know this, but our bodies are electric. Our brain, um, the way that the nerves send, transmit signals throughout our body, all of that is electric. We have neurons firing, literally sparking in our head every second, and that's how electric we are. So if we're electric people, we're going to need electric food to fuel ourselves, aka alkaline food. I know a lot of people have been drinking alkaline water because they heard it's good, but do you know why it's good? So the thing is, since you're eating all this acidic food all day, that's the sweet potatoes, that's the fries, that's the hamburgers, all of that stuff, you need alkalinity in your body to, to bring your body from the acidic side of the scale back to basic. The thing is, you shouldn't be on this side in the first place. We need to get to the alkaline side of the spectrum, and that's what this food helps you to do. So there's no mucus, there's no inflammation you're you get a lot more vitamins because electric food is god made food so they, they're not hybrids they don't have anything added to it it's comes from the earth natural since there's no uh preservatives or anything like that in it your body can absorb 
all the nutrients there's no added fiber or anything like that that makes it um too much for your body a lot of the additives that they add to the food is to make it taste good it's not really supposed to have any nutrients it's not supposed to sustain you a lot of god made foods alkaline or, or you know electric foods have so much minerals and vitamins and it's really healthy for you and it really fuels your body okay so melissa just touched on the fact that your body needs to have minerals and nutrients right people think that when they eat food they're getting the nutrients that they're supposed to get and the minerals that would be in the food the problem is the food is not a natural food and because the food is not natural it is deprived of the natural minerals that would be in it so when somebody comes and creates a food they will take or a hybrid they may take this food and this food and try and cross or crossbreed it right and they are not able to actually get the minerals from both of those foods inside they have to use starch to combine both of those uh chemical both of the uh molecular structures in the food to be able to actually have it crossbred right so one mineral that people really need to have more in their diet is iron and iron is the most deficient mineral in people and that happens because like i said earlier when you're eating food that you think is supposed to have these minerals in it it's not a lot of food is just empty food it's empty calories that's why when you eat the food in an hour or an hour and a half you're hungry again because your body didn't actually absorb the nutrients in it because there's no nutrients to be absorbed and for here's another example of how the body would work in that situation if you have um let's say let's an example you have calcium i believe that's a thing's a mineral let's go with iron and carbon right so if you're eating food that's supposed to be a complete molecular structure and it's not you're going to be deficient in one of the the minerals that you need and if you're constantly eating food over and over again that does not have minerals in it so what have you experienced from your electric diet since you changed all right, so since I started with the electric diet, um, it's actually funny because we really started on this very gradually. It wasn't like we just hopped into it and was just fully in it. Okay, we're trans dieting right now. Trans. <laughs> you ain't shit. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, so um, we started off very small and then eventually it became the, like all of our main meals were alkaline foods. So I noticed, oh, when we first met, I used to sleep in till 2 p.m. every day. Yes. Like, I would not wake up before 1, 2 p.m., like, at all. Sometimes 3. Yeah, I, it was not happening. And then I'd go to work. At that time, I wasn't taking a lot of caffeine because I was working at Starbucks and a lot of sugars, too. Um, and a lot of, just a lot of everything. I was eating everything in the Starbucks. Mm -hmm. And when I was doing that... <laughs> um, once we started this diet, I started to transition off of doing it. I cut out the caffeine, I cut out the alcohol for a good while. I cut out um, <laughs> the, the pastries and I only ate the food that I made. So what I felt different was that I had more energy. I was able to wake up earlier and not feel like I was dying. Um, I have an iron deficiency. And I don't feel as nauseous. I don't feel like I'm going to pass out in the middle of the street or anything like that. Um, I remember I used to go to concerts and I couldn't stand up for the whole concert. Like my friend would have to like kind of stand over me. I would have to sit down on the floor in the middle of like Frank Ocean performing. And my friend had to make sure people wouldn't trample me. And I don't have like those problems anymore. So that's something that I felt really stood out to me. And my periods became shorter how, short, wait, how long was it before my periods used to be damn near a week it was like six to seven days because that bitch ain't want to leave <laughs> but um <laughs> now my period is like <laughs> it's like three days it'd be like three four days <laughs> but um i would i attribute that not only to the alkaline food but i also feel like the um i changed to organic pads too during this whole um Transition. transition yeah so uh, <laughs> so since i did made both of those changes i made like i noticed a huge difference oh and i lost weight 
um, really fast too. I think I lost maybe 10 pounds. I went from 150, 160 to like 140. And I've kind of been around that 140 weight um, up until now. So. Are you fatter now? I feel fatter now. <laughs> I feel like I should have a six pack. I've been working out for every day for like three weeks. No, two, like two weeks. Two weeks. But I feel like I want my six pack and I want it now. Um, what differences did you notice? Babe? So with me, with the alkaline diet, um, I also lost weight. And it was kind of interesting because I wasn't actually, I was never big like that. Um, it was just... Let me see how can I put it. Yeah, I'm more weight in his face. That Oh, I forgot about that. So I believe that my face was, it wasn't more weight necessarily. I think it was just swollen from all the inflammation of all the food I was eating. So now, since I've been off the diet, I can actually tell when my body, when my face is becoming inflamed if I, if I eat something that's not alkaline or electric, right? So another thing I noticed, I don't really break out like that. Um, if I break out now, it's a different kind of, it's, it's very, 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 very small, and it's usually not attributed to food. That's because I might like have to change my pillowcase. Feel me? Uh, so I should probably do that more often. I think that's something I should probably do more often. <laughs> and I feel that that's usually what will, that's the kind of breakout I have on my face. And if I eat food that's not electric, I can instantly tell that I have a pimple from that. So my breakouts are not what they used to be. My face is not as swollen. I leaned out a lot when I first started the diet. I haven't been in the gym as much as I used to be, but when I was going to the gym or playing basketball, I was very lean. You could see like all of my muscles. It was like, you could see my six pack, my everything. You could see it because it was, the fat was gone. Um, another thing about the acidic food is it causes fat because of all the extra glucose in the fat, all of, well, the extra glucose causes the fat and the glucose is in the food that they're you know giving you to eat um i noticed i have way more energy and it's kind of crazy because i guess i've noticed it but having this conversation right now really made me understand because i have so much energy throughout the day that i forgot where before i would be tired all the time now i don't get tired until i pretty much come 12 50 <laughs> a.m. 12.50 a.m. Until I come home. Then that's when I, get, I wake up at like 7.30 and I'm able to go the whole day without being tired up until uh, actually 12.58 a.m. Shoots <laughs> when my body taps me out and tells me, okay, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> um, let's see. No constipation. I wasn't constipated before, but, yeah. but my bowels move very easily without having any problems. Um, what other things have I noticed? Oh, the fullness effect. Yeah. Okay. With in terms of what? So basically, what? Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay. So basically, like, well, uh, one of the first things that we realized when we when we started eating alkaline foods, um, literally, like, one of the first things was that um, we would eat uh, the food that I'd make, and we would like we keep eating, right? And you know, like, when you eat and when you eat in good. You, you, you get full, like that full feeling like you can't, like you're bloated, you can't eat no more, and you, you get tired and sleepy. Yeah. We didn't experience that anymore. It was more so like, damn, I I feel like I want to keep eating this, but I think there's no more room, but you don't feel full. Like you don't feel like you're going you're gonna, to like knock out and just, you know, sleep for the rest of the night. So that was one of the main um that was one of the first noticeable things that we saw um, after eating the food. Yeah, so I definitely remember. I would, I, I forgot now, I haven't been doing it so long. <laughs> if I would eat food and I'd instantly be tired. I would eat food that was not electric food. I would eat it and be like, I feel like going to bed. I would take a nap. Obviously, you know, it's called, we call it the itis. And I don't get that anymore. I can eat food and I eat the food. I feel like, all right, I can just keep going. It, the food gives me energy to keep going throughout the day. As opposed to eating it and I feel like, all right, let me take a seat now. Let me, you know, relax and sit down and chill. I don't really feel like doing that. I feel like I have a lot more energy after I eat the food. Um, it was something else I was going to say, too. So it's the food going to sleep. Oh, the other thing I was talking about earlier with the food not being nutritious, right? That the, with non-alkaline electric food being nutritious. You, your body, you're, right now or before when I was eating, I was eating to fill my stomach. I wasn't eating to actually uh, feed my body nutrition. 
So I thought because my stomach was full that my body had what it needed, but that not really what was happening. I was just making the cramping of my stomach go away. So once my body processed whatever that was, it's like, okay, I didn't get the nutrients I was supposed to get. I'm hungry again. Like you didn't give me what I needed. You made the stomach pain go away, but now you didn't feed me the, the minerals that I need to keep going. And I realized that once I eat food now, uh, like I said, I'm able, I don't feel like I need to eat again right away. I don't feel like I didn't eat food. I'm like, okay, I feel, I feel good. Like I feel like I had food that my body needed and I'm good to go. So I think that's something else that I, uh, that I noticed eating the food on electric diet. Um, I'm trying to think. So the plan going forward, right? Because we're transitioning still into, uh, into this diet. So I, at some point, would like to get a laboratory where I can actually look at the molecules, my, look at the molecular structure myself, and be able to tell, okay, this is a hybrid, that's not a hybrid, this is good for the body, this has minerals in it. So that's the plan right now. So right now, all we can do is kind of go off what we feel, how our body is changing, and then we can actually refine uh, what we eat and what we know, the more research that we do. Um, and we tried to give like a very overview of what we know, very general. We didn't really get into how everything breaks down, how the energy is, you know, carbonic acid and why carbohydrates are sugar and why it's bad and why fiber has complex carbohydrates that you can't digest. We didn't get to any of that stuff. We just was like, all right, we're going to try and give an overview of it. So if anybody really saw it and wanted to know, we could just, hey, this is kind of a general conversation that we're having. Um, so, you know, some of the foods that we can, that we have, well, you know, that I've made, cause you know, I've been anyways, 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 Are you trying to say that you be cooking or something? Anyways, I like ways, cause I make all our meals. I feel like you don't make breakfast. Except for breakfast. Okay. <laughs> Except for breakfast. Checking she makes breakfast. Up. Anyways. Okay. So what, um, what meal wait, do you something that I wanted to oh, kind of, um, okay. hit on that Donovan said earlier was the fact that, um, you said something about the sugars. With sugars? The glucose or the just, carbohydrates? Uh, just the sugars body. in the body, okay. basically. So, okay. Um, he said that he was eating to make himself full mm -hmm. and that his body was just kind of like, you know, just working on that. There was no nutrients in it. And then, you know, that's how you get tired. Not enough nutrients, but yeah. So, I just wanted to um, also just say that the difference with acidic food is... is Typically that it's loaded with sugar of uh, the vegetables. So that's like carrots broccoli all of that stuff is, is loaded beets loaded with sugar and the thing is that that makes you gain weight because once your body reaches its sugar limit all, all the other sugar that you just consumed just goes off to the side and just turns into fat instantly like just boop, mm -hmm. fat so fat 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 That little stomach that you have left there that little side cellulite that some people have uh, it's it, it comes from that. If you're wondering why you have all this fat around your body, it's literally that. It's no other explanation other than that. And then the thing is, so sugar isn't a bad thing. Um, sugar gives us energy. That's why a lot of fruits will have sugar. It's kind of, it's something that indicates to our body that this is not going to kill us. This is something that, you know, we can eat that's not poisonous. Like, just on a basic um, human, what's that called? Like... <laughs> I don't know. What you're talking <laughs> about. Basically, like on a caveman level, like oh, oh this okay. is not poison because it has a sweetness to it. The thing is, most of that is paired with a lot of fiber that keeps you fuller longer. So you may that's why you can't eat ten tangerines or ten apples at the same I feel time. Like we're getting very technical, and I feel like that's, we shouldn't be. Oh uh, well, I got excited. Okay. So okay, so we're gonna what, get into the foods, foods do you cook? that I cook. Yes. So I cook pot pies. Mushroom, onion, pot pies. I cook jerk patties, onion rings that, that will be slapped in. Um, I've made pop tarts. I've made date balls, which is like energy balls. I've made lo mein. I've made mushroom pot stickers. I've made I don't know what that is. that's the um the, the the triangle ones, the Asian ones. Oh yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, I've made. I said lo mein. Oh, I be busting that. We be busting out some quinoa, fried mushrooms, which is like fried chicken. Um, sweet, sweet, sweet potato, which is really like butternut squash, mashed yeah. butternut squash. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese with no dairy. Like all of the things pizza. that I'm naming, I be making pizza. Hamburgers. Burgers. Anything <laughs> else we forgot? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think that's pretty much the, it. Oh, waffles and pancakes. And spaghetti and the meatballs. Belgian waffles, yeah. So those are 
all the things that I just named have no animal byproducts. No cheese, no dairy, um, no chicken, no eggs, no yeast, no, nothing. None of that. Um, and it's only made with non-hybrid foods. So that's chickpea flours, that's your spelt. No soy, because even though people who are vegan decide they think they're healthy, they want to eat food that is made in a laboratory. If the Tofu. <laughs> if the food is not natural, it's not good for you. Do not, do not eat it. You're not going to die today. You eat it over and over again. It's going to cause you problems. They eat this whole nonsense of you know, just, if, even though vegetarians are vegan, we're just not going to, uh, we're going to eat unhealthy vegetables. <laughs> That's basically what that means. We're not going to eat the meats. We're going to eat the unhealthy vegetables. So and The alcohols and the, the French fries and, oh yeah, canola oil. Canola oil did not exist yeah, no until okay. 1970. So, uh, we, so. <laughs> we, we don't really talk about it for anybody else other than us. So we kind of get excited when we do talk about yeah. it. Um, but... Obviously, if anybody wants to ask a question, we're knowledgeable. Where, I mean, you know, we don't we, know everything. We know, we know what we know, and <laughs> it's probably more than what you know. And we'll tell you what we know I feel about. Like it. We, we're not coming for you though. Coming for you, talking. Because you just you say I, you sound mad at us and talking about oh, we know more than what you know. We do. That's what he would ask. So like we know more than if, which, if you're watching it, you probably don't know much as we do. So, I would be, hey, even if you made something that we don't know. So I like to converse, talk about it, because I'm, try, I'm trying to get to be as healthy as possible. That's just my goal. I'm trying to be healthy. So, and I like to give information. So if anybody wants to know anything, ask any questions, we are happy. I, be, I was studying all day, 12 <laughs> hours all day yesterday. It was like a midterm. <laughs> yeah, doing whole, so much. That's like writing a paper and my phone just on the technical level of it. Um, just in case anybody wants to know. But so. of course, you guys can find us at Melissa X Donovan. Um, that's my Instagram. His Instagram is Donovan X Melissa. It's probably in the description box as well. If you want to forward your questions there. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're lucky because I'm about to be like, I feel like you're yelling. I feel like you're yelling, but you're not. So, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Yes, that was fine. So, yeah, that's where you can send any questions you have to our, our DMs. Um, yeah, if you don't want to leave a comment, you feel like it's too loud or whatever, you know, we'll always answer. So. That was fun. That's fun. That was cool.